Hello trainers, welcome back to the lab. Today, we will be covering the Vivid Voltage Charizard theme deck. How you can get started winning those coins and those event tickets with it. So, this deck, it hits very hard. I love it. Very fun. Mucho grande. Don't know why I use Spanish there. Anyways, let's talk about the main guy here, Charizard. Right? Two energy for 100 plus damage, that's very good. The more Leon in your discard pile, gets 50 damage per Leon. This deck only has two Leon, unfortunately, but that's still possibly 200 damage for two energy. That's insane. And, and even, look at this, if you play the Leon, 230 damage. You don't need 230 damage to one-shot anything in this meta. 200 is more than enough, so this is great. Another thing that's great is Soaring Storm, the other popular deck, has a 160 Dragonite HP in that. If you play one Leon, you're doing 180 damage with Royal Blaze. You're knocking out one turn. Perfect. We love that. Pseudo Wudo, double draw. Draw two cards for one colorless energy. Great card. Only one retreat as well. Super good. 90 HP, you keep getting hit. Just to hit, hit him for 90 if you need a little to soften him a little bit. Great card again. Charmander is another great starting card to have in your active. One fire energy to draw one. A little bit weaker than Pseudo Wudo, but if you don't have one in hand, great again. Lugia is another great card you can be using. 30 damage for one, or uh, three energy for 120. You can, if you get him out early and you can just start swinging with him, he's great. One thing to be wary though, is if you're using energy loop over and over, you won't be able to be attaching energy to your other Pokemon unless you're using Bead. Now Bead, he can let you accelerate energy to use two energies in one turn. So that could help you get an energy on Charmander or Charizard and then still be able to swing with Lugia's energy loop. It's a combo to think about. Now we also have Yanma. He's also he's a good card to switch out into when you're not sure what you want to do because he only has one retreat and he has U-turn for one energy. But he evolves into Yanmega with zero retreat. 130 damage for four colorless. It's a big number, but 130 is nothing to scoff at in the theme deck meta. Plus the zero retreat, it's very nice to have him out. If you're not sure you're gonna draw that Charizard or energy, boom, you do, swap him out, hit for 150 or 200 damage. Now Slugma, I'm not a big fan of Slugma in this deck if I'm gonna be honest with you, but if your back's against the wall, he can help st stall out your opponent with yawns. If you get three energy attached to him, he can still swing for 60, and, and if in, a, in a dire situation, you just hit him with Bright Flame for 180. Yeah, you discard two energy, but that will knock out anything in the theme deck meta. Now we have the Evolution Incense, only one unfortunately, but that's nice to get so you can get some of these Evolution cards in your hand. The Great Ball, so that way you can try to get some more Pokemon going in your hand. This is how you're going to recycle your Pokemon that die, like your Charizards and your energies. This is what you're gonna use if you need to switch them and you don't have the energy cost or they're paralyzed or something terribly wrong happens. You gotta switch ready to go. We've already talked about what bead is good for. You got Dan, draw two to four cards, that's great. You can't say anything wrong about that. Hop, draw three cards. Leon, you're not really looking to use this card in this deck. Y yes, you can. It will help you get out knockouts. You're trying to get rid of this card into the discard pile so your Charizards are hitting huge damage. That is the plan for Leon. Professor's Research is another solid. Discard your hand, draw seven. And then we have Sonia. Very good in the beginning of the game when you're trying to get your bench set up. Very good. 18 energies. Don't worry about discarding these things. These things. You have the ordinary rod. Awesome. Let's get into a few matches. All right, looks like we're going against our weakness, a Swampert deck, but luckily we have Mianma. Yeah, we'll go first. We're choosing to go first. Oh, this is unfortunate. This is not a great start for me. Oh yeah, we have to put Slugma out. Bummer. Two retreat costs, not the card you want to be starting with. Alrighty, let's Great Ball. Grab the Pseudo Udo. Pop him out, Great Ball. Oh my gosh. Just grab the Charmeleon, thin the deck out a little bit, right? patch and we're gonna be done that's our turn there so i noticed that we have the switch in hand so we're gonna switch slugma and pseudo wudo next turn we're gonna start drawing hard we're also gonna be hopping next turn um that'll give us an extra three cards to use and he doesn't really do anything so we're gonna put yanma down we'll hop now 
great. Um, switch there. I'm going to attach to the Yanma, I think, just so he's ready to do some business. We got another hop, that's great. We got a professor's research. I'm gonna double draw here. Let's start going through our deck. All right, we got a Charmander, that's phenomenal. So to get Yanma powered up, we need to have at least three energy on him. So that way he's one energy off of using his Cutting Wind for 130 when he evolves. But to get Charmander ready to go, we just need to put one energy on him because he only needs two. What's this guy thinking about? Maybe Brick? Huh. Strange. Okay. Go ahead, pop the energy on Charmander. Let's hop again. Oh my god. We're gonna evolve that into Yan Mega right away. We got all three Charmeleons there. That's kind of a bummer. Hmm. Let's go ahead and double draw. Another hop. Oh my god. We are hitting so many hops. Okay, Tate and Liza. He must be uh, not having the best of luck right now. There's the Swamper. That's not what I wanted to click on. Please go away. Oh my god. This card and energy draw three. That's kind of cool. All right. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to evolve him there. I'm going to play Hop. We got a Sonya. We don't really need it, though. I think I might use it next turn so I can get my two more Charmanders down and get them all into Charmeleon. Good to go. Good to go. Uh, one more. I don't want to use this Professor's Research. I have too many cards so I don't want to get rid of. Another. The end Mega. Are you weak to grass? You are weak to grass. Let's get one more Charmander out, and let's get the Yanma out as well. I like that play. Ooh. I thought he was going to get double hits for a second. Ooh. Scary. I wonder when this guy's going to start swinging. So we're down to 26 cards in our hand. We have to keep that in mind. Could be spooky business if we run out of space. Bomb of snow. Ultra Ball the Snover, right? Frostroad, um, nine or more Pokemon tool cards, and I didn't read all that. Oh, thanks. Uh, ignore all energy and the attack cost of each of this Pokemon. That's kind of cool. That's really cool, actually. Very interesting. Okay. What do we draw? Sonia? Well, Sonia there. We'll grab these two. Pop him down. Very cool, very cool. Um, I think I'm going to Professor Research next turn. Which might sound crazy to you, but... Ah, uh, we have another hop. This is, I'm not, I'm not hitting any of my Charizards right now or my Ultra Balls. Do I have any Ultra Balls? I'm pretty sure I do. I can't remember now. Oh, no. I know my, my other Charizard deck I do, but I'm not sure about this one anymore. I could be misplaying it out of control right now. Who knows? He's actually getting low on cards too. The problem is... Okay. I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to hop, I think. I think I want to hop. I could be... Let's hop, let's hop right now. Got an evolution in sense. Okay, we only have one Charizard. That's not the greatest. Alright, we got Charizard now. Hmm. Do I Royal Blaze? I'm not really looking for anything right now. That's the thing. Let's just double drive. All right, so we know the other Charizard isn't in the deck. So next turn, I think I'm going to bead. And I want to get my Yan Megas going. How much damage can this do? 20, 80. That can do a lot of damage, actually. That's really not that great. 
great for me. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do this. We're going to do this, do this. I think I'm gonna just retreat him. I think that's the play here. I think I'm gonna do this, retreat for that, and then just hit for a hundred. I don't think I don't. I can't lose my Omega. I need to use them to get their Swampert out. And energy, great. Well, can he kill me with that? I don't think he can. How many? I think we're gonna be okay. 20 more damage times the amount of energy. So it's gonna be 30. Oh wow, this is terrible. Oh, we're not in a good spot. <laughs> oh, we're in a terrible spot. Um, okay, we gotta stall out a little bit. Oh no, oh SpaghettiO, what have I done? Oh no. Okay, okay, here's the play, here's the play right here. We are going to, um, we are going to U-turn for Slugma. <laughs> please. Please don't hurt me anymore. Sir, please. I need to get three more turns to get him powered up. Oh, no. Oh, I'm scared. Oh, he's getting another Swampert ready. Oh, Lipperino. Okay, we're okay. Everything's fine, guys. Don't worry. I'm gonna pull this one out. Maybe. Oh, Oh no, 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 no. Oosh. Okay, okay. We're, everything's fine. We'll take the knockout here. We'll throw in the pseudo Wudo. Okay, everything's totally fine. I don't know why y'all are tripping. We are totally good. Everything is fine. Nothing is wrong. Pseudo Wudo, get out there. Protect me. Alright, we take another knockout. Charizard! We hit! Nice! Oh, this is good news. This is good news. These two are both ready to go. And, and two, this one's in two turns, this one in one turn. Whew. It was getting down to the wire. I'm feeling much more confident now. Ooh, that was scary. Hypno Hammer is going to be a hard one, though. That's an issue. Getting him all powered up. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Do there. Do there. Do. Do there. Um, switch for you. Um, you turn for you. Look at me go. Look at me go. Like a pro. Another Charmander, eh? Okay. Now, what's he gonna do? Put the back cargo out? Oh, he's putting out the Obama snow. He's going big on me. That's fine, because we got the Leon in hand. We're ready to go. We're gonna throw the Charizard into the Doom Fist next turn. Send him in. We salute his sacrifice. <laughs> Rescue Stretcher. What are you grabbing? Crossroad him! Uh oh. Nah, I think we win. I don't think there's any way we lose this right now. Charizard, get out there. Get out there, Charizard. Get out there. Go ahead and use Leon here. It'll bump me up to 180. Boom! There it is. He's hitting for 150 right now. Keep that in mind. Plus the 30 from Leon. Masterpiece. Now he's hitting 150 base. He can't kill that Swamper. That's an issue. But that's not really an issue. We're expecting him to go down to the Swamper here, and that's not a bad thing. Because we're gonna we have two EN Megas powered up and ready to go. And the Yan Mega, and remember the Swampert, weak to grass. So we should be fine. We should be okay. I think I calced this properly. Alrighty. Um Hit for 130. Boom! Nice. Take another prize. That was looking a little scary there for a second, but I think we have this in the bag now. Hit him with a 
well played. Just be a little polite. <laughs> that does a lot of damage. That's, I'm really surprised about that, actually. That's crazy. And GG's. All right, first game in the bag, not bad. All right, let's go to game two. All right, game two. Looks like we're against Xenomo with their um, Kyogre deck. I don't remember playing this deck before, but I'm sure I have. Nice, we start with a pseudo Wudo, and they don't have any basic Pokemon, so they have to mulligan. We get a free card draw, at least one. That's great. We also have a Sonya to use on turn three, or, or our second turn, to be able to fill up our bench. Oh, is this the, um, the re yeah, this is the one where they go for the bench Pokemon. That's scary. I remember this deck now. This deck's pretty good, too. Uh, yes, please. And Mega. Very cool. So drop the Lugia in. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'll attach there, in case they do something crazy and knock me out first turn. Nothing wrong with attaching the Lugia right here. Especially because I'm noticing that they only have two bench Pokemon right now. Never mind. That dream is gone. <laughs> I was gonna try to knock out all their Pokemon. Shoot. Fair. Fair, fair, fair. We're gonna have a uh, powered up EN Mega pretty soon, too. Jeez. This is another EN Mega game. I'm trying to show off Charizard here, guys. Come on. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, perfect. This is going pretty good for us. Let's put both of these guys down. Pop, pop. Like double draw it. Not bad, not bad. All right. So we evolve the uh, Charmander and the Yanma next turn. The Charmeleon and the Yanmega. Probably attached to the Charmander, I believe. Just so he's one away from being ready when he hits Charizard. You gonna energy loop me? You're gonna energy loop me? Wow. I've changed my mind. We're going to attach the Lugia. Cynthia's? Okay. Not too bad. Burning of Forest. Once during each person, that player may discard a card from your hand. If they do, that player searches looking for a basic energy card. Okay. If I need energy. You did not. Interesting. Um, will he knock me out next turn? This won't be strong enough to do anything about it. Lugia is the only I think I'm gonna prepare the Lugia for battle. He's ready now. We'll double drop. Pop. We gotta switch. Alright. We'll see if he energy loops us here. Not a bad play on his part, TDH. But it is a bit of a bummer. I guess I could put out the I'm Mega and then I could hope I get a bead. So I can attach. It doesn't really matter, actually, does it? <laughs> it doesn't matter if I put up the Mega first. Pukumuku. That's such a cute card. Prim Club. Alright. I don't want him to get that Napoleon going, though. That's a scary business. He is direct to die. That's all the attachment he needs, I think. So he only takes one energy for Napoleon to stop it. I knew what it was, though. Cool. Alright. Lugia takes gold death. That's not a big deal. Well, that is a big deal. But, eh. eh. The trade for trade, right? We, um, didn't get it, so we'll just do our play. Energy loop. The problem is we have nothing else set up, and we're not going to get anything else set up either. That's an issue. If he puts out something weak, like if he puts out the Puyo Kamuku, which he doesn't, is he going to start trying to direct dive my Pokemon? Plan. Totally on. I don't know what he's planning on doing. Uh, 
weakness is what? Electric. Okay. They got aqua fall me. Shoot, I think I lost this one, guys. <laughs> going to be honest. Alright, Evolution Insects for the Charizard. One of them is prize, unfortunate. I didn't get the energy attached though, so we're just going to leave him out there. I'm going to Viridian Forest and Energy Forest and Energy. I'm hoping that helps mix up my uh, deck a little bit. I'm hoping for a Leon right now. That's, that's the only thing that saves me at this moment. If I can draw a Leon, or if I can get a, uh, like, Professor's Research. Something where I can just draw a bunch of cards and I can hopefully get a Leon out. Because I, I need the 180 damage to hit the 160. Oh, I should have Battle Sense to get rid of the cards. That's what I should have done. That was a misplay. Forgot that card. It existed. So he can't kill here right now, but he can use Recall, which means he can use um, anything. He can use Water Drift, Direct Dive, blah blah blah. He'll probably Direct Dive, right? Direct Dive to Charizard, that makes the most sense to me. Yeah. There's Direct Dive on Charizard. Alright, let's see if we hit it. We did not. We did not hit it. Battle Sense. <laughs> Try that again. Ali it's Alicia Leash. Got it. Oh, this is that Raikou deck I was talking about. This deck is frustrating. If you go against this deck, save your switches. That's all I can say. Those things could save your life. Alright, we'll lead with the Charmander, I think. Yeah, we lead with the Charmander. Put the anime on the bench. Because I don't really mind if he pulls that one out on me. Uh, got the Charizard. Grab a Charmeleon. Attach there. And we are done. I'm not really sure if I want to evolve next. I think I do. I think I just want to start going hard right here. <laughs> I think I just want to start going hard. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's just hit him with Raging Flames. Alright. Well, he loses next turn if he, um... If they don't evolve or anything. Okay. Um. Yeah, okay. <laughs> GG! The power of Charizard, guys! Oh my god, do you see how crazy he is? 100 damage knocked out that 70 HP. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so we're getting. I haven't played against this deck yet, the Darmanitan deck. Let's guess Tails. Shoot! Oh, I go first, thank you. I like going first with this deck. Ooh, I don't really like any of my first choices, but we will be doing damage. I'm not going to put Slugmar out because I don't want him to switch me into the Slugma. Let's go ahead and patch and move next. We're going to be hitting for 50 next, next turn, just so you guys know. Okay, no turbo patch. Anything else on the bench? Negative. Okay. I am going to Sonia. We'll grab a Charmander and a Lugia. I like that. We'll just drop the Charmander down. We'll drop the Lugia down. We'll drop the Energy down. We'll drop the Omega down. We hit him with the U-turn. And then we, um, we hold. Very 
good. I can't kill this turn, can I? No, maybe not. Alright, let's use Dan. Let's scissors. Ooh, scissors again. Dang it. <laughs> um He hits me for 150 next turn. Shoot! I hit him for 50 now. And then I put out. I put out the slugma now. Because even if he uses slash on it, it'll it'll knock it out. And I don't want the, him to be able to keep it in. Okay. That's what we were hoping for. Alrighty. Pseudo Wudo! We hit the big! 130 damage? This is looking like a Ant Mega deck, to be honest with you. It's not getting very lucky with the Charizards today. Alright, will he hit me for 20? No? Doing something cr Oh my god! I <laughs> wasn't expecting that, to be honest with you. Um, what do we power up next? Probably put one on the Lugia right now. And I'll... What can this do to me? Just make your Pokemon knocked out from an attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, during the last turn, this attack was 90 more damage. 90 plus 30 is 120. Let's, um... Let's kill with a U-turn, because I don't want my hand mega to go down right now. Put Pseudo Udo out. Because if this is all he has, we win this turn. We put an energy down, we retreat, but that's not all he has, is it? Of course, it's never that easy. Actually, I'm just realizing that, well, we're keeping him healthy. Yeah, 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 we did a smart play. He'll probably knock out the uh, pseudo Wudo here. That'd be a, a smart thing to do, too. And then we'll put another energy on the Lugia. Actually, we'll hop first. And if I get a Charmeleon, then I'll be much happier. Rally back. Whoosh. Big damage. Alright, bring the Yan Mega back out. Yan Mega is a pretty good elusive card. Got the Charmeleon. Um, 120. Yeah, actually, I'm going to power up the Lugia here. I'm going to hit with Cutting Wind. So I'm, I'm powering up the Lugia right here because Charizard currently doesn't have the damage to take anyone else out, but Lugia does with the 120. The 120 HP there. 120. If it was 130, I probably would have done the Charizard to risk it on getting the uh, Leon, which we still not have any. So we're only hitting for 100. Is that Capricious Bucket? Dang. <laughs> I just love the name of that card. Don't know why. Alright. Let's put it. Pudge. Didn't want the Wingle to go down for some reason. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. We are now set on the bench. Let's go. Um. Battle Sense? Uh. Alrighty, uh, cutting just kill it. Cutting Wayne. I don't think there's a way he can kill my, uh, maybe with, with Turbo Patch, he can sweep it out and he can knock me out there, but I can knock out his sweep with my Lugia, so I'm not tripping about that. There's the Turbo Patch. He got it! Nice, that's cool. Good for you. It's cool. I like it when people's decks work for them. It's it's very interesting. It's fun to watch. It's always a bummer when the deck doesn't want to behave for you. You know what I mean? Roar loop. So we're going to put down the Lugia right here. Take the free knockout he just gave us. And we have Charizard ready to go whenever. Like, we're, we're just chilling at this point. You know what I mean? 
helping out the deck a little bit. Oh, I almost messed up, didn't I? Shh. And I think that's game. I'm not sure if there's much else he can do. Maybe he'll evolve into the dirt. Um, what is this called? I have no idea. Or Manitan. You have 19 cards left and you haven't hit or Manitan yet? So sorry. That's a real bummer. That's a real bummer. Let's end it with our boy Charizard. This is a Charizard video after all. Royal Blaze, 180. Good games. There it is. It's just that easy. So guys, there you have it. Charizard may not have seen a lot of play at all, basically. It was, it was very and mega heavy, as you can see, but we did go a lot against a lot of water decks, and that's just what happens. But it hits hard, it has multiple choices on how you can attack, and that's why it is one of my favorite starter decks. If you want to play around more with energy switching and discarding the energy to do damage, to do big damage, then check out Soaring Storm. But this is my favorite theme deck, and I hope you enjoy it if you decide to use it as well. So thanks for coming to the lab, guys. In the next video, I will be covering how to take this deck and make it into a standard competitive deck. Eh, mildly competitive, let's say that. It'll be a lot of fun. I hope to see you guys there. Thanks for coming. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.